I am going to make a recipe for you guys. Um, I am going to make white chicken chili in my Instant Pot. Um, I found the recipe online and I've never made it before so this will be the first time we're trying it out together. Um, but I decided to, I wanted to make some chili or some soup or something tonight because it's kind of cold and cloudy outside. We had a little bit of snow last night and it's supposed to snow again today. Um, none of it stuck because it's really early in the season for us. So I'm hoping that maybe we won't get too much, but we're actually under a winter weather advisory tonight. So yeah, we'll see. Switching arms, sorry. Anyway, so I am going to work on this recipe. I have all my ingredients prepped and ready, and we're going to kind of put it all together, and then I'll show you what the final product looks like once it's done in the Instant Pot. So here we go. All right, so I have my ingredients here. Um, so I've got the white um, cannellini beans. Um, I've got some chopped up jalapenos, two jalapenos, and then I was supposed to use a whole chopped onion, so I bought some already ready to go. Um, then I don't have oh, a um, whole garlic clove, so I'm just using some of the minced garlic. And then it uses ground cumin, oregano, and then a new spice that I had to go buy today, coriander. And then a cup of chicken broth and chicken. Um, and then, like initially, you cook it. Um, you start with the vegetables, so the onions and the jalapenos, you'll start cooking those in the avocado oil. The recipe also called for um, adding in, um, I think it was celery and something else. Oh, green pepper. Um, my body does not agree with green pepper, <laughs> so I always stay away from that when I can. Um, but anyway, Zoe was trying to get into my stuff, so I'm closing it up so she can't get into my beans. Um, anyway, so I got everything all prepped and ready um, so we'll start out with the vegetables sauteing them in the the olive oil and then I think we start adding in the spices and the beans and then the chicken finally on top and then the chicken broth um, at the end I think we add in some sour cream and stuff um, so I'll try to show you and then um, some cilantro I believe you can kind of sprinkle some on top so I bought some today so we can try it so we are going to start the process of cooking this in my instant pot so here we go okay so we got to put I've got the recipe here on my phone so let me get it pulled up here um, so we have to put the um, instant pot in the saute mode there we go and then I'm going to so we leave it alone. It's always trying to get into my ingredients here. So I'm going to pour a little avocado oil in there. Just kind of, I'm guessing how much to add. It said two tablespoons, I think. I went way more than that, but you know, whatever. So we're going to add the Onion. I'll put that in first and then we also have to do the garlic sorry I know I'm kind of all over the place I didn't open my garlic lit up I wasn't prepared I'm just gonna add in you know like a big old probably one and a half teaspoons, something like that. And then add in the jalapeno peppers. I left the seeds in. They said you could leave the seeds in and that would make it a little more spicy. Oh, I forgot to get me a spatula. So let's come over here and get that. Okay, so then I'll just saute this up until the onions are kind of translucent and we'll kind of go from there so so that's the first step okay so this has been going for a few minutes it kind of said until they were softened which we thought was about five minutes um, 
sorry it's so steamy you can't really see too much but anyway so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in the rest of my ingredients here um, so the first thing we're gonna do is add the spices um, so the first spice that we're gonna do is the cumin then we're gonna do two teaspoons of it along with two teaspoons of oregano and then one teaspoon of the coriander so got my spices all ready here there is one teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of cumin, and then see if I can make a mess with this. I probably can. One of oregano, two of oregano, and one of coriander. Okay, now I'm just going to give that kind of a stir. And then we add in the beans and stir that up. Then we're going to add in the beans. So the beans are going in next, and these were rinsed and drained. And stir all that up. And the beans there. Okay, and then um, we put the chicken pieces on top. So I'm just gonna add the chicken in on top. Then we'll end up taking the chicken out after it's done cooking. Alright, my hands are dirty, so <laughs> now I'm going to try to wash them real quick. Here's that kitty. It's a neighborhood cat, but it thinks that the half belongs to me. She sits on my table out there. Well, and I, there's one cat that's a stray that's so skinny. I've showed her before on my channel, um, the Starboard Kitty, but I always feed her. And so I think this cat gets some of the leftovers. All right, um, so now I'm gonna pour in the chicken broth over on top. And then we take this um, to pressure. We cancel that out. And then we're going to add the lid and close it. Make sure that it is in the sealing position, and it is. And then we are going to um, select manual. And we are going to cook for 15 minutes at high pressure, it says. Oh, I was cooking probably a roast, I think, the last time I used this. Okay. All right. So now we just set it and wait. And then the recipe says that um, it'll take about 10 minutes to come up to pressure and then um, it'll cook for 15 minutes after that. And then we'll do a quick release once that's done. And then we'll take the chicken out and shred it, add it back in. And then um, we will add in the sour cream and the cilantro and then stir it all up. So I guess we'll see how it all turns out. Cross our fingers, I never know. So I totally forgot to <laughs> vlog the uh, what it looked like once it was done cooking, but basically I just took the chicken out of it and shredded it up, and then I added in the cup of sour cream and a little bit of cilantro at the very end, and then this is 
the white chicken chili and it tasted really good and then I did add salt to taste too I didn't do any before I just decided to salt it at the very end so <laughs> my lens is all smoky now but yeah white chicken chili turned out great um, so if you like would like the recipe let me know so I decided to do an unboxing for you um, Zoe's checking them out so I got a couple big boxes from Ulta um, what I got is a couple of advent calendars they're like beauty advent calendars um, but I saw a youtuber last year do in their little countdown to Christmas videos they did some advent calendars and I thought that was kind of cool and so I decided that this year I'm gonna maybe try doing advent calendars and try to vlog them a little bit as I go so we'll see I don't know if I how I'll do it because I know I won't be able to do videos like on the daily um, so I may just like vlog for the week and then um, post the video like on the week and like every week so we'll see how it all goes I'm not sure but anyway but I bought a couple advent calendars um, so we're going to unbox them really quickly so I got my scissors here and I'm trying to do this one-handed so <laughs> so we'll see how it goes so we be careful babe I don't want to poke ya yeah you want to play with the scissors don't ya yeah we'll see if I can get this one <laughs> one-handed <laughs> it's a trick it's a real trick okay we're gonna go over on this side though and get that one <laughs> Zoe mom is having trouble yeah mom is having troubles okay and let's go along here Okay. All right, let's see if I can open this one. I can open this one fairly easily. Yay! I'm making a mess. <laughs> so we'll probably play with those. All right. I'll clean up my mess later. Wow, there was lots of packing stuff in here. Oh, this is bigger than I was anticipating it to be. Um, cool. Oh, it smells yummy. Oh, I can smell stuff already. Um, so this is the first one. It is the Ritual of Advent Countdown to Christmas. So it is the ritual calendar. So it is full of beauty products. Oh, I am so excited. Like, I can't wait. Like, I can smell when I opened it. Oh, there's just like yummy stuff in there. I can smell the yummy, yummy goodness. All right, so this is so exciting. All right, can't wait to open this. But I'm not going to show you guys until closer to Christmas. All right, now let's open the next one. Let's see what we got in here. Mess. More mess for Zoe Bell. Okay, dokie. It's kind of heavy. Let's see if I can pick it up with one hand. Ta -da -da. And this is the body shop. So it opens up, and then there's little boxes inside. So anyway, oh, they smell so good. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Sorry, I had to peek in there. So, okay, there we go. There's my two advent calendars that I got from Ulta. Um, I am so excited to open these up this Christmas. It's gonna be so much fun. I love, when I was a child, this brings back such good memories because when I was a kid, 
my mom used to have this little Christmas card holder and it was just this tiny little cardboard box kind of thing but you could put Christmas cards in it and it had Santa on there and then on the front of it it had the like on a little wheel that you could dial down it had like from December 25th to December 1st and so you could just count the days down to how many days till Christmas and every night I would go in there and I would adjust the wheel and count the days down to Christmas so this is like really exciting I've kind of been struggling the last couple years to get in the Christmas spirit and the Christmas mood so I decided maybe this would help me to um, to kind of get in that Christmas spirit and mood a little bit better if I did advent calendars and count down to Christmas and kind of make myself more um, you know just aware of the reason for the season that kind of stuff it isn't about all the presents and the gifts and the toys but it's about so much more so anyway I have one more advent calendar coming um, it is a advent calendar that has little chocolates in it so I think it I can't remember which one I got but it's coming from Amazon so anyway I'll have three advent calendars to do with you guys this year so I'm so excited and they smell so yummy but I'm gonna go store these away in my spare bedroom and I will dig them out come December 1st stay tuned <laughs>